today we will discuss about recombination and genetic mapping in chromosomal basis of inheritance you have come across the word recombination in crossing over and linkage so due to crossing over only new combination of characters appears that is called recombination the appearance of new character is called the recombination okay here you can see a different homologous chromosome and this one different homologous chromosome crossing over takes place you have studied the steps involved in crossing over crossing over takes place and you can see the exchange of chromosome segment is seen here after the exchange the chromatids are separated in the middle you can see the exchanged chromo chromosome segments that is called recombinant and this this side you are having you no know, this chromatid is parental form and this one is also parental form so how will you calculate the recombination frequency rf so the percentage of recombinant offspring progeny is nothing but offspring or young one in a cross is equal is called recombination frequency so the percentage of the recombinant character that is uh, offspring or the young one so how many offsprings are produced through recombination that percentage occur in a cross it is called recombination frequency so the recombination frequency can be calculated by using the formula rf is equal to number of recombinant progeny progeny is nothing but offspring or young ones by total number of progeny into 100 percentage for example there are that is in four progeny that is four daughter cells are formed in that two are recombinant forms so 2 by 4 into 100 okay into 100 So four twenty five sir hundred. So now the progeny is fifty. That is the frequency of recombination. Frequency is fifty percentage. So that like this, they calculate the recombination frequency. Next, we move on to the genetic mapping or linkage map or gene mapping. So the diagrammatic representation of position of genes. and the related distance between the adjacent genes is called genetic mapping that is position where the gene is located on the chromosome and the distance between the two adjacent genes so that that can be studied by genetic mapping so they may ask in two mark what is genetic mapping or linkage mapping or gene mapping and this genetic map is directly proportional to recombination frequency so that means 50 percentage recombination frequency means genetic mapping distance is also 15 50 percentage only so it is directly proportional to the recombinant frequency and this concept of genetic mapping was given by t h morgan student um, alfred h to the word in 1913 so they may ask in one mark so t h morgan student h alfred h student in 1913 so the unit distance of genetic mapping in physics the newton okay the force uh, force unit is newton like that here also there is an unit so that distance that is the distance between the two genes a and b so this this distance it is called as map unit m dot u map unit one map unit is equal to one percentage of crossing over so one map unit means one percentage crossing over occur so one map unit can be written as 1 cm so c capital m cm means small cm means centimeter c capital m means cm why m that is this concept was given by morgan student stuttevant so because of the stuttevant dedication he used the morgan term that is here cm term okay so 100 cm is equal to 1 margan 
capital M. Okay, that is 100 centimargan is equal to 1 margan capital M. That is 100 centimeter is equal to 1 meter. No, this is the common one we used in the max. So, 1 centimargan is equal to 1 margan. So, here they had given an example. A distance between A and B genes is estimated to be 3.5 map units. It is equal to 3.5 centimargans or 3.5 percentage or 0.035 recombination frequency between the genes. So, if for example, they had given the distance between the A and B gene distance is 3.5 centimargan. And centimargan, like that also we can write. 3.5 map units also we can write. That is 3.5 map units is equal to 3.5 centimargan or 3.5 percentage or 0.035 recombination frequency between the genes. And for this, that is the distance between B and C is 7.5 centimargan. That means 7.5 map units which is equal to 7.5 centimargan or 7.5 percentage or 0.075 recombination frequency between the genes. Same way the genes between C and D. Okay, 5.5 centimargan is equal to 5.5 map units or 5.5 percentage or 0.055 recombination frequency between the genes. Okay. And now we will see the uses of genetic mapping. They may ask in three marks. So the genetic mapping, what is the definition? Location and distance between the genes. Okay. So gene order, Look, location of the gene and distance between the genes can be easily determined, can be easily known. So these three points can be easily known by genetic mapping. That is gene order. A gene location, distance between the genes and it is easy to predict the dihybrid and trihybrid cross ratios. So, dihybrid and trihybrid cross ratios can be easily predicted and to understand the overall genetic complexity of particular organisms by the genetist. By the genetist means who studies genetics. The person who studies genetics is called genetist. So, it is easy to understand the complexity genes, the genetic complexity of an organism. For example, you are going to study human genome project in zoology. There you will study that 30,000 to 40,000 genes of human is unknown. What is the function? We don't know. So, like that complexity of genetic material can be studied using this genetic mapping. So, um, remember students, this they may ask in three marks. It is a very important question. So related to the topic, I had given some of the questions here. What is genetic mapping? Write the significance of gene mapping. Define recombination. Thank you for watching the video. If you have any doubts, post your doubts in the comment box. And if you want to view my video related to the topics, you can see in the uh, description box I had provided you a link. Thank you for watching the video. If you like the video, please give a thumb, thumbs up, share and subscribe to Science Easy Tech channel.